this, this bus is built with a BAE system, 100% battery electric buses. There's no tailpipe emissions that come out of this bus. These four electric trolleys will save approximately 9,000 gallons of diesel fuels while preventing just over 300 tons of carbon dioxide emissions. BAE Systems has been doing hybrid electric vehicles using a direct drive traction motor to the rear axle for almost 20 years now. It's the same technology that's in 7,000 delivered hybrid buses that is in this bus behind us. And what that means to the user is extremely high reliability and maturity of the components that go into this bus. But perhaps the most unique feature of this vehicle is the way we charge it. And that's the inductive charging we'll do at the BART station. Every two or three runs the bus makes, it will inductively charge its battery back up to as much as 70% of capacity. It's an inductive charger, otherwise known as wireless charging, so there's no contact required at all. There are no cables to plug in or unplug. So it makes it so that when the driver comes up, they don't have to get out of the vehicle. They can just touch a button on the screen and it'll automatically start charging. And as soon as they leave, it'll automatically shut off the charge. In picking Gilling and BAE and Wave, uh, we think we've got the right team, the best team there's, that is out there to do electric buses at this time. We will have people coming from all over the state to look at this and see how it operates and we'll be able to really have a significant demonstration project for the region and the state and really the nation. It's a very exciting project. I am very excited to work on this uh, pure electric bus and I know with the BAE highly reliable components and the in incredible charging capability, I think this is the leap in the future. Everyone worked very hard to get this bus and the system integrated well and, and make it the most solid system that we've ever delivered on an electric bus. And it's only up from here. We're gonna do more of these with Gillick and we're gonna do more of these worldwide.